our first section is going to be a section on wreaths. And this is the first wreath that we're going to make. It's an easy wreath and it's fun to make. All right, the first thing that you do is you take a lid from a margin container and you trace a circle. And after you've traced your circle, you cut it out but you cut it out with pinking shears, cutting with pinking shears, so that you get the zigzag edge. Pinking shears are scissors with the zigzag edge, and then you get the edge around there, like that, so it's decorative. Okay, now after you've done that, you take holly leaves like this and you decorate your your red paper with leaves going all the way around you can see that in fact I'll do it as I'm talking about it These leaves are pre-cut for the children so that they're already done in advance. And it's quite easy. It's just a, just take a piece of paper and go down like that and down like that. And then same at the other end, down and down. And then you just put a sculpt part in the middle like that. Okay, then you take your holly leaves, glue them on. around the edge I'm going to use the larger leaves around the edge can you see that like that around the edge like that and you're going to put a bow like this on the top. And this is how you make the bow. You take a white piece of paper, cut it in the shape of a bow, like that. Then you take your red marker and you make dots all over your bow. And then you take your green marker and you do the same thing with dots all around so that it looks like like this, like it has the measles, only the red and green measles. Then, if you'd like to, you can go around the edge with a red marker and then around the center and make some lines coming out so it looks like a real bow. You can make it red or you can outline it in green. And I have these pre-cut and ready. See, they're all set and ready in a little, a little folder here, ready for the children. And then they just choose whichever color they want. And I'm going to choose, a, I think I'll try a red one this time for mine. Put the, the glue stick on the back with the glue, then put it on the middle like that. And you can see with this one, uh, let's see here, where, where, where are we here? Okay, now it's up to you the size of the holly berries that you use. Some I've pre cut that are larger like like this and some you can cut very small like that and whoop you can't see that see the small dot on there and the smaller berries like these right here are cut 
using the one hole punch and the children have fun punching punching out the berries and then they just take them they can do it they can even do it twice you can fold your paper twice over and cut double and that gives you more berries but they do have fun punching the berries and then they add the berries to their wreath like that and put a one hole punch here so that they can put a string on it and if you have any stickers or any glitter like I had Christmas stickers here and I decorated with those now if you have glitter you'd rather put on there you can do glitter and it looks looks super and there's your wreath that's the first wreath that we're going to do tonight now the next wreath that we're going to do is a wreath like this and it's called a popsicle stick wreath what they do is they take the popsicle sticks, paint them green, and then overlap. Do you see how they, these two, this part has overlapped this one and this one? So you just overlap it. So these two are glued onto there, and just keep going and overlap all the way around. And that gives you your, your wreath. And it's from popsicle sticks that you've painted green. Or you can buy the popsicle sticks that are already green. But I think they have more fun painting them green and getting them ready. And then they add to them any foam Christmas shapes that you have. Stars, candy canes, and you have your, your popsicle stick wreath. Okay, another wreath that is great fun is this one. It takes a little bit more time, as you can see. It's a bit more complicated. All it is is a paper plate. Take your paper plate and start on the edge, at the edge of it. And at the edge you put all of the hands. Remember at uh, Canada Day, we traced the hands. These are just handprints that the children have traced and cut out or you can pre-cut them sometimes it's faster if you pre-cut them if the guys if the, the children are young then they can have them already set to go and then they just start putting them around the edge start at the outer edge and then you add in an inside layer and then you go even more see there's the inside layer right there there's the outside layer there then you add another layer circle around and then another circle around just filling up as many of the white spots as you can and then in the center they cut a circle take something to trace in the shape of a circle even this you could trace and cut it in the shape of a circle or you can pre-cut it and have it ready for the children and then this is just glitter they stuck glitter in the middle and there's a wreath and you can put a string on that and hang that and it's their poinsettia wreath that they have Another paper plate type of wreath that we can do is this one. This paper plate wreath. And what we've done with it is, you see how the paper plate's cut out in the middle? Then they just merely either paint it or color it or use marker and make the whole thing green like this. And then, again, taking your foamies your Christmas foamies or your Christmas if you have some glitter like there's little glitter sequins like the angel here and the, the wreath and the, the Christmas tree then there's another tree up here and the foamies and just add that to it and decorate it and then you put your string with your one hole punch on it and you have a Christmas wreath that's an easy one that they like to do Okay, now we're getting into the more difficult wreath. Uh, this one is a bit more for older children. Okay, now this one I made by, I pre-cut these in advance. And all it is like a, a semicircle, just a piece, like you fold your paper and you cut. part of a moon shape and then this is your fold on your paper for example if your paper is like like this 
Okay, that's, that's your, your paper would be larger, of course. But this is your fold. And then you just scallop. And anybody can do that. And then your paper would go down here the rest of the way as well. And then just make scallops. Now this is a tracer for the children to use. You can do it in white, you can do it in black. And then once they've got that tracer, they take their piece of paper, which is folded in half, and they make this shape. So it would be like this. It would look like that. Folded like that, and they cut it out. Then when they open it up, because the paper is folded, you get your wreath. Have you got that? All right. Then they take tissue paper. This is actually tissue paper, or this can be crepe paper. Crepe paper works well, too. And then just take your tissue paper and go around the outside. Crumple your tissue paper and stick it on. And there's your, your Christmas wreath, like that. Okay, there's another Christmas wreath that we did just last week. Which, okay, which the children enjoyed. Again, we took, this time, we took the small paper plate and cut out the middle. I had that ready for them to go. Then they took green tissue paper and I already had them set with the scallop, with the, uh, this is crepe paper. This red bow is made of crepe paper. Like so, like that. And then see right here, this part is a piece of pipe cleaner that I just stapled. I put the pipe cleaner on to keep the bow, pull the bow together, pull it together so that it, it flares and turns into a bow. And then just cut your ends like that on each one, like a real bow. And here's your loops here. And there's your pipe cleaner. Okay, so this is what I gave them to start with. And they took this and they added, oh my, they added tissue, tissue paper to it all the way around. And what we did was, do you see the little balls? We took, you've probably seen the beads like this. They're in a form of a, I think I'll take one out here and show you. Like a necklace, like that. For Christmas decorations, you can take them and just cut them, cut them up, like, just take your beads and you can cut them in sets of two or you can cut them in sets of one and just cut the beads up individually like that. And then you have a whole bunch of red beads or gold beads or silver beads and then they take the beads they can decorate anything with this I find it really handy these are in doubles and they took these and they just decorated their their um, wreath with the double beads and again you can use red silver gold green and use that for decorations if you don't have any of the other stickers or glitter or things like like this on hand if you don't have those then you can just use beads or you can use both or sequins too are good to, the, to add to that and this one is really easy it took them like 20 minutes and they were done decorating it and all they, all they did was take the tissue crumple it like this stick it in the glue stick it in the glue then stick it on and then it came bigger like that bigger like that so they didn't worry about putting it on the end of a pencil or a crayon. They just crumpled it up and stuck it on. And they made a wreath like that. And they had something nice to take home to show mom and dad that they had made.